So now about volume and conversions that come with that that, that are related to volume the, the 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 conversion is a little bit different here. You see the difference over here is that for example in the case of the distance or mass that we talked about basically the units over here are centimeter or millimeter or meter or kilometer or kilogram gram milligram now you can you can compare for example centimeter to for example cubic centimeter right this is just a centimeter meaning just a length right just a strength straight length but cubic centimeter means what that means is actually centimeter times centimeter times centimeter that is essentially cubic that is essentially centimeter raised to the third power because you have because you're multiplying centimeter by itself three times it's like two into two into two is you can write it as two raised to the power three because there are three factors of two here which is equal to eight right by the exact same logic you can say that centimeter times centimeter times centimeter is cubic centimeter which essentially is written as cubic centimeter this way okay now why is it that the unit for example becomes something like cubic centimeter it's because of the fact that for example if you had a a cube let's say that you have a cube for example something like this let's say that you have this cube and let's assume that this is actually a very neat cube and so that is a three-dimensional cube of course so in the case of this cube essentially what happens is that the essentially you have a height for the cube which is which you can measure for example in centimeters there is a width for the cube so this is the height this is the width there, there is a width for the cube and there is a um there is a um, there is also this dimension there is also a name for this I, I don't remember the name for this right now but essentially this dimension over here is also called the whatever it is called it's not important right now but then you can you can essentially measure the width in centimeters and this width over here you can measure it in centimeters right and then essentially what what you can do is that let's say that this is for example in let's say that this is 10 centimeters this over here is 20 centimeters it's not a perfect cube that the lengths are a little bit different and this is for example 30 centimeters right this length over here so i'm talking about this length about this length and about this length and of course you know that for example if um if for example if this length is 30 centimeters of course then this length would also be 30 centimeters there is no other way right because the the angles have to be 90 degrees so there is no way that that this length for example could be anything other than 30 centimeters or essentially if this length is 20 centimeters then this would be 20 this would be 20 this would be 20 as well if this is 10 then this is also going to be 10 this is also going to be 10 and this is also going to be 10 centimeters right now the volume of this cube is essentially multi is essentially calculated by by essentially the by the surface area of the of this of this basically of this rectangle that you have over here the surface area of this rectangle would be 30 centimeters times basically 20 centimeters and then this surface area 
you can imagine that essentially the surface area is a sheet of paper for example and then you have to put as many sheets of paper as you need in order to build this height over here right so this height essentially is, there, is, is 10 centimeters then then if you multiply this sur surface area by this height that becomes essentially the the volume of the whole cube or cuboid basically so times essentially 10 centimeters so you see over here you have one factor of centimeter 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 and so as a result this becomes basically 30 times 20 times 10 centimeter times centimeter times centimeter would be cubic centimeter right of course you can you can measure the same lengths in meters for example and then the the unit would be cubic meter for example meter times meter times meter would be cubic meter you could measure in kilometer and then for example that would be like a very probably very large cube cube or cuboid and then the the unit would be kilometer times kilometer times kilometer which would be cubic kilometer something like that which of course is not very usual so so then so then essentially the units are different in this way meaning that meaning that the unit is a cubic centimeter or a cubic meter or a cubic kilometer or a cubic millimeter or something like that so the conversion is going to be different right i'll show you essentially what i mean by what different what by, by what i mean by different essentially but then now what is essentially now important here is that let's say that i have a, cu a cuboid a three-dimensional perfect cuboid and let's say let's 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 say that uh, suppose that i told you that the that the volume of this cuboid is exactly 10 liters right just just as an example is that suppose that the volume i told you that the volume is 10 liters what that means is that is that for is that if you had a bucket if you had if if you had a bucket with the volume of 10 liters exactly 10 10 liters and if you fill that bucket with essentially to the to the edge meaning that if you fill that completely with water essentially then if you pour that water into the into the cuboid then the water would fill the the cuboid completely that's the meaning of uh, that's the meaning of 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 of, of essentially of, of a volume meaning how much space there is in something meaning how much water how much water you can you can essentially fill into the into the cuboid over here right so that's essentially the meaning of that that's the meaning of volume now um and then there is there is also something about there is also something about essentially you see over here we have um, over here we have essentially there is there is there is all of these units for example cubic centimeter there is cubic meter you could also have cubic millimeter you could also have essentially cubic kilometer and so on and so forth right but then there is the liter here as well right now you know that essentially in the si unit the unit the, the, the essentially the the unit for the for the length is actually the meter right and so if you go with the meter then you would have meter times meter times meter would be cubic meter basically but then what is what is essentially the liter the liter essentially is a convention meaning a convention is something that the whole essentially there is a there is essentially an organization of standardization that has essentially that has agreed upon these conventions meaning something that everybody has agreed upon right 
and they have said that they have essentially made the definition that if you had a cube that if you had a cube of of basically a perfect cube meaning a perfect cube what i mean by a perfect cube is essentially a, a, essentially a, a cube in the case of which this height this height over here is exactly equal to this length is exactly equal to this length which then means that for example then this length is equal to this length is equal to this length is equal to this length and then this length is equal to this length and then also to this length also to this length and this is equal to this equal to this equal to this meaning all the sides of the cube are exactly of the of the exact same length length basically right so now if you had this cube and the side length was 10 centimeters so if this was 10 centimeters then all the other sides sides would be exactly 10 centimeters meaning 10 centimeters 10 centimeters 10 centimeters and so on and so forth then the volume of this cube would be the volume would be 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters which is the same thing as 10 times 10 times 10 is a thousand and centimeter times centimeter times centimeter would be cubic centimeter so essentially the volume of such a cube would be called a liter so essentially a liter is nothing but a thousand cubic centimeters right meaning that essentially the liter is nothing but essentially turning this essentially making uh, playing with the words in other words when you say essentially a liter you're actually you're actually talking about the cubic centimeter and of course you know that when you're talking about the cubic centimeter you're actually talking about the meter because centimeter and meter is just essentially a centimeter is just a hundredth of a meter basically so that's just playing with the words right you're you're ultimately talking about the meter even if you're talking about the liter basically right so so then by definition a thousand cubic centimeter is the same thing as one liter and so for example if you if you go out and 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 basically bought one of those soft drinks that you buy in supermarkets and on the soft drink it says that for example the the volume is 330 milliliters that is that is that is essentially nothing but essentially 330 into milli which is essentially one over a thousand liters which is the same thing as 330 over a thousand liters which is nothing but essentially if you divide 330 by a thousand you would have 0 0.33 zero basically liters or essentially uh, three tenth of three tenth of a liter basically meaning one thirds of a liter basically right three tenth would be would be one thirds basically right so three tenth is approximately equal to one thirds because because well that's just uh, that's just the way that it is right so um so that 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 that, that means that essentially one of those small cans whose whose um, volume is 330 milliliters that's actually one that's actually very close to one third of a liter and one third of a liter would be essentially uh, if you can convert and, and and calculate that essentially in cubic centimeter in 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 cubic meter and so on and so forth right now let's do a couple of calculations essentially conversions here i just want to show you real essentially quickly how you can uh, 
how you can convert how you can go from cubic centimeter to cubic meter and so on and so forth right so let's say that you have a volume of 2 of 120 cubic centimeter and you want to know what that is in cubic meter so how do you how do you essentially um, convert that now in order to do this conversion first I'm going to show you essentially I'm going to uh, show you essentially what this actually means I mean what 120 cubic centimeters what 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 does what what does it actually mean so essentially 120 for example let's say that I divide at 120 by 2 that's a 60 and um, so for example um, and then and then for example a um, 120 divided by 2 that's a 60 uh, 60 times 2 is the same thing as 120 right 60 times 2 is the same thing as 120 now I'm going to write the 60 as 30 times 2 and then there's another 2 over here that's 4 essentially 2 times 2 is equal to 4 4 times 30 is equal to 120 right so you can write 120 I mean one way of writing 120 would be a 30 times 2 times 2 for example or you can write 30 as 6 times 5 so you can write this as for example 6 times 5 times 2 times 2 which would be again the same thing as 120 and then I'm going to multiply these two together call it 10 and then I'm going to write 6 times 10 times 2 that's a 60 times 2 is equal to 120 that's another way of writing 120 there is of course an infinite ways of writing 120 <clears throat> not infinite but um, there is only so many I mean there is there is actually so many ways of doing that right so now if if I say that the 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 essentially I have a I have a volume of 120 cubic centimeter then then I can write 120 cubic centimeter that could be written as essentially a essentially a six times a a 10 times a 2 that's a 6 for example centimeter times 2 centimeter times for example 10 centimeter so you have a cubic centimeter here 1 2 3 centimeters here all multiplied together and then 6 times 2 times 10 would be 120 right so this means that basically if I had a cube if I had essentially a cube like this <clears throat> let's say that I have a cube or a cuboid the one of the side lengths is six centimeters the other side length is two centimeter the other side length is ten centimeter then essentially the volume of this cube would be of course six centimeter times two centimeter times ten centimeter which would be 120 cubic centimeter right and of course 30 times 2 times 2 is also equal to 120 so um, so essentially what happens so that was essentially a 6 for example a 6 centimeter a 2 centimeter a 10 centimeter right now if I had another cube in the case of which for example this side was 30 centimeter this side was 2 centimeter this side was also 2 centimeter 30 times 2 times 2 would be 120 so there is many essentially many different cubes of different shapes of different dimensions whose essentially in the case of all of which the the volume is going to be 120 cubic centimeter right now you see over here that um, that essentially for example if I go with uh, 
for example, six centimeter. Let's let's forget about essentially forget about essentially these measurements for now. Now suppose that I go with these measurements, meaning six centimeter, two centimeter, ten centimeter. Of course, a six centimeter would be a six hundredth of a meter, right? Six centimeter would be six hundredth of a meter would be 0 0.06 meter right and then a two centimeter would be essentially two hundredth of a meter meaning six hundredth would be six over a hundred which you can write as a 0 0.06 so it, it's essentially the same thing and the reason why i'm saying essentially that six centimeters six hundredth of a meter is because of the fact that Essentially, 100 centimeter is 1 meter, right? So then, essentially, um, um, a, essentially 100 centimeter, if I want to explain everything, it takes a little bit of time, but well, okay. So 100 centimeter is essentially one meter now if i had for example six centimeters that would be how many meters x would be equal to six centimeters times one meter over the hundred centimeter 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 you can cancel out that's six over a hundred of a meter which you can write as 0 0.06 meter right so so then the six centimeter would be six hundredth of a meter two centimeter would be two hundredth of a meter and ten centimeter would be essentially zero point one that's one tenth of a meter right now so that means that essentially the exact same measurements i can write them as instead of writing a six centimeter I can write it as 0 0.06 meter. This measurement I can write as 0 0.02 meter. This measurement I can write as 0 0.1 meter. And then the essentially the, the the volume of the same cube instead of writing it as essentially 6 centimeter times 2 centimeter times 10 centimeter which is 120 cubic centimeter I could write it as basically 0 0.06 meter times basically 0 0.02 meter times 0 0.1 meter. That's the volume. And that is the same thing as essentially 2 times 6 is the same thing as 12. And you have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 decimal places. So that's a 12, 1, 2, so that's a 0, 5 decimal places. And so meter times meter times meter is the cubic centi cubic meter. So as you can see, so the way that you can calculate this is, is essentially 0. Point, what I'm saying essentially here is that 0 0.06 times a 0 0.02 times a 0 0.1 so if you want to calculate this do this multiplication you have 6.2 is equal to 12 and then you have two decimal places here two decimal places one that will be five decimal places right so starting from here one two three four and five decimal places that would be 1200 12 um, hundred thousandth of a cubic meter because you have meter and meter and two and meter over here this number is the same thing as 12 over a hundred thousand okay cubic meter so you see over here that when you do them when you do essentially the the when you do the conversion 120 cubic centimeter is the same as basically is the same as hundred 
is, is the same as 0 0.00012 cubic meter which means that basically I have to actually take the I have to take the 120 and to get to essentially so many decimal places I have to go one two well, essentially uh, I have five decimal places here and one zero over here which would be six decimal places so I have to give this number six decimal places which means that I have to divide it by a million right if I take the 120 that I had over here and divide that by a million that would be essentially the that would be the 120 and then dividing by a million that gives me essentially six decimal places so that would be one two three four five and six decimal places which you can write as 0 0.00012 right the exact same number so that essentially means that whatever the whatever essentially the, the measurement was in cubic centimeter if you were to write it in cubic meter the same number has to be divided by a million basically right now what is the reason for that the reason for that is that is that basically um, every essentially one once one meter is the same thing as a hundred centimeter right so essentially to get from a meter to a hundred to essentially to get from it a hundred to get from a um to get from a hundred centimeter to a meter i have to divide by basically divide by a hundred right and i have essentially three factors of centimeter over here so i have to divide by a hundred once divide by a hundred twice divide by a hundred thrice which means that essentially let's say that you divide by a hundred again divide by a hundred again divide by a hundred which means that you're dividing by essentially by one and six zeros which means that you're dividing by a million right so that's essentially the, the the unit conversion that happens here but then again you can actually calculate this as well so for example the same calculation that over here we had and that was for example we know that we know essentially now that is the same thing as 0 0.0012 cubic meter right that's essentially what we got 0. Triple zero one two, right? Triple zero one two. Now let's let's calculate this. Let's see essentially how we can get to that. So then one hundred twenty cubic centimeter, and remember that you have your you essentially in such cases you always need to know what you want to get into, or essentially what you want to get to, so as to know what to get rid of, meaning. For example, you have cubic centimeter, cubic centimeter, and then you want to get to cubic meter, right? So essentially, the the centimeters, essentially cubic centimeters is centimeter times centimeter times centimeter, and cubic meter is meter times meter times meter. So essentially, you have to get rid of this centimeter, this centimeter, and this centimeter. If you can do that, then you will get to essentially to your desired unit, right? So I want to essentially get to cubic meter. So I write this as 120 cubic centimeter. And because I want to eliminate the centimeter three times, I divide by centimeter three times, meaning that I divide this by centi essentially not centimeter excuse me by by centi and again i divide by centi again i divide by centi right and you know that centi is that is the same thing as essentially 10 raised to the power negative 2 which is essentially 1 over 100 right so then 
that means that this is 1 over 100 over shear. Over shear, you have 1 over 100, and over shear, you have 1 over 100, right? And remember that uh, basically, um, one, basically 1 over 100 is the same thing as centi, which means that this whole fraction, the value of this is 1. The value of this is also 1. The value of this is also 1, meaning that I have multiplied this 120 cubic centimeter three times by 1, which remains the same. So I haven't changed essentially anything here. So then, and then of course, um, um, and then of course, basically you can write this as, and the 120 cubic centimeter, you can actually write it as 120 centimeter times centimeter times centimeter, and then times essentially all of this whole business essentially over here. Instead of this, I can write it, I can actually write it this way, right? So then, um, centi and cent, essentially this, this is, this is essentially this, you can, you can think of this as this whole business divided by one. And so this is a numerator, this becomes the denominator, right? From the numer numerator, you can, ca you can cancel out the centi with the centi here, and what remains is the meter. Again, cancel the centi with centi here, what remains is the meter. Cancel out the centi here, what remains a meter. And that is essentially this now, if you calculate this, that is essentially 120 times 1 over 100, times 1 over 100, times 1 over 100. So that is essentially 120 divided by essentially 100 times 100, times a hundred if you don't understand if you didn't get the, this part i'll do it again so i have 120 meter times meter times meter is cubic meter times one over a hundred times essentially one over a hundred times basically one over a hundred right now if you essentially if you divide if you multiply all of the denominators together you would essentially have this is 120 cubic meter times essentially 1 over 100 times 100 times 100 is 1 million right this is 1 million so then you can essentially write this as 120 divided by 1 million cubic meter which means that again you would you would essentially get to the same number that we calculated before meaning um, 120 you have to since you're dividing it by a million and a million has six zeros so then you, you can simply give this six decimal places so that would be essentially 120 with six decimal places one two three four five six one decimal place and then one zero for the placeholder and that is cubic meter and of course this zero over here uh, except that you want to keep the number of significant figures or something like that it's not really important you can write this as 0 0.00012 cubic meter which is 0 0.000012 cubic meter which is the answer that we got before Right. So, so using the exact same as strategy, you can go from cubic centimeter to cubic meter to cubic millimeter to cubic kilometer to, and of course, since you know that essentially one liter is the same thing as 1000 cubic centimeter, then you can essentially do all the conversions that you need to do, right? Now, uh, there is only, I mean, there is just a couple of um, ex examples here in the text. And so I will pick a couple of these examples that I find interesting and helpful. And then we will talk about them in the next video. Thank you.